Hello, this is JM83. It's episode 26 of the My Team Lotus career mode, and we're here for China in season two. It's a track that I like very much so, so hopefully we can do a good job for the uh, the Lotus team once again as we're coming off the back of two back-to-back -back podium finishes back in uh, in Bahrain and in Hanoi. So hopefully we can continue that sort of uh, the vein of form that we're in and in China, in Shanghai. So yeah, DRS opening for the end of the track life donation test and it's a purple score uh, in that one, which is nice. And yeah, luckily because of the massive straight, uh, all of the deltas are pretty easy to get at this track. So should be plenty of points coming uh, to the team. And obviously with Carlos being quite a good teammate, um, he gets quite a lot of resource points himself as well so they uh, they come thick and fast and the car improves at a vast rate of knots so hopefully we can be up there with Mercedes pretty soon on car pace as yeah in the previous races we've kind of capitalized on the AI's errors uh, but the car pace is still just about third I reckon with Red Bull uh, despite the thing saying it's in the second place but yeah onto the fuel test lifting off quite a lot at the end of the lap not quite into the purple but we'll take the green score there to be honest and then into the ERS test as well, uh, two tenths up on the Delta and we've not even used any ERS at all really and yeah, comfortably the purple score on that one. And then straight into the race program and doing three laps easily above the Delta and you get the 50 points and that's exactly what we've done. And it's six tenths in better than Delta and it's another 50 points for the team. And into qualifying we've done okay so recently we got into q3 for the first time this season last time in hanoi so hopefully we can do that again and you can see perez doing a 30.5 there which i should be able to beat i think the racing point isn't that quick although with lockups like that in the last quarter and going wide maybe not we'll have to wait and see but into q1 i aim to only do one lap in q1 sometimes it goes a bit wrong but yeah breaking a 50 meter board to slow it down nicely hamilton goes two seconds almost faster than perez um, but i've actually done 29 7 there which is pretty good we're faster than the racing point at the minute and luckily that was all i had to do in q1 so my teammate science actually put it third on the grid uh, in Q1 but I'm 9 tenths off him but we scraped through in 15th but it doesn't really matter we're through anyway into uh, into Q2 and yeah the first lap in Q2 unfortunately Sainz has given me maybe a little bit of slipstream but also absolutely blocking me into next week through the final corner so not so great teamwork there and it through the final corner uh, breaking a little bit early there but getting a nice slow down keeping on the track and over the line it's going to be a bit slower than Q1 it's 29.5 which I think is about a tenth slower than Q1 so I definitely need to do better than that um, if I want to get through to Q2 as we're currently in ninth, uh, so potentially but obviously a lot of cars will be improving and through turn one needs to be keeping it nice and uh, high speed minimum apex speed needs to be very high although third gear for the second part a little bit of understeer there and that means I'm over the curve for the second part which hasn't given me a great run we're a bit down on the previous lap but uh, yeah it was tenth down through sector one but hopefully we can improve through the remainder of the lap and by the end of the lap uh, we're pretty much level going into the uh, final few corners but we saw Carlos last time was blocking me lows through here and you can see I've gained a, a little bit through the entry but the three exits more crucially and through the final corner trying to be so aggressive through here to get through we're currently 14th and that is appalling through there <laughs> but we've actually got a warning somehow but two cents improvement purple on the final sector which isn't really a surprise and we've just about got into ninth place for Q3 in back to back races yeah although karma kind of paid me a visit and unfortunately it's absolutely horrific to start on softs at this track so yeah i'm into q3 but that means i've obviously got to start on soft tires and yeah that might have been off my strategy a bit so maybe it would have been better to go out in q2 uh which yeah i definitely should have done really but that uh, quarter cut was horrific but uh into q3 once again through the first few corners taking it a little bit better than last time although uh, still not great and you can see up to the sector one split are we going to be up on Verstappen? I'll have to wait and see. And it's just about uh, pretty much level, actually. 12 thousandths off the uh, the Red Bull driver, who is in sixth at the minute. So maybe a good lap. Although Science isn't even in the, in the bottom half of the table. So he must be having a very good session. And through these high-speed corners, seventh gear, trying to get it nice and flat out. And this car with the upgrades on it is so much difficult, so much more difficult to drive in terms of, like, you have entry speeds into corners that you use online or previous seasons in this car um, and it's just so different because the car has so much more grip and you can take way more speed without even realizing it and through the sales section now we're half a second down actually so we lost loads of time on the AI of Verstappen through the middle sector there and that is an awful line through the snail section got all over that curve and that's going to cost me time all the way down the straight unfortunately and it's going to be very difficult to try and even beat Gasly at this point as that line onto the straight was absolutely awful um, and yeah down the air back straight and uh, try to keep it uh, as far to left as possible for the uh, best entry into the final corner breaking just for the uh, 100 meter board there and first gear and try and get a nicely rotated we've done that pretty well short shifting on exit for the better traction and through the final corner can we keep it uh, clean this time and breaking a lot better there and almost clean there not even off the track really and over the line it's going to be unfortunately 10th place once again so yeah two races in a row that we've qualified 10th but q3 isn't a bad thing unfortunately i just can't get the lap together in the final session and there was definitely pace for eighth at least you saw that mistake cost me eighth there 
Um, you know, a teammate Science qualified third, uh, so only behind the Mercedes. Best of the rest there for Carlos, so really showing what the car can do. And unfortunately, uh, as I said, soft tyres for the start of the race, which isn't ideal at all, as a lot of the drivers outside the top 10 have been uh, mediums and do one stops, but I'm going to do a two stop on the soft onto two sets of medium tyres. Uh, and I can, I'm going to have to pit so early on these softs because they're not a race tyre at all. But nonetheless, we'll do our best. And here we are for five lights for the Chinese Grand Prix. And it's quite a long hold, but we're eventually away. And Gasly gets a very good launch on the right-hand side there. But my, not as good as my launch. We're going through the middle of both of the cars. So I should have out-qualified anyway. And it, uh, it's still straight away on the pressure, uh, putting the pressure on the Red Bulls. And Albon and Verstappen going wheel to wheel. But Gasly's actually going to send one back up the inside and make it three wide. And with his, uh, his parent team, really, the Red Bulls and the Alpha Tower, he's going three abreast into turn three here on the exit. We're trying to get a nice clean run. And we've actually lost that place to Gasly once again. And he's still keeping it alongside. So it's three wide between the Red Bull cars, all three of them. And now that's next corner that surely there's going to be contact here and Gassi has a, such a narrow line that I'm going to try and just live a switchback move and maybe take Albon here Gassi's got the pair of them actually and Verstappen and Gassi still going side by side I've taken Albon on the exit and through this uh, next corner side by side with the tie driver uh, pretty much the closest thing to home Grand Prix for him and out through the uh, next corner taking Albon on the inside and he's going to have to back out of that one meanwhile Verstappen holding it on the uh, on his junior team there his former teammate Pierre Gasly and still just fighting fifth place for him but I'm in seventh now which has been a pretty good start from 10th on the grid and on these softs we really need to be going as fast as possible to try and bobbles away from the medium runners who are uh, started outside the top 10 so they're going to be very big threats later in the race especially like the sort of racing points and the McLarens who are pretty quick but unfortunately for them didn't get to Q3 mainly because I cheated but meanwhile Gasly going very slowly on the street in that Honda engine and We've used a bit of overtake mode and Rich Mix wide, uh, not wide open, sorry, that's DRS, but it's not even enabled yet. And Rich Mix is still literally on. And we've taken Gasly quite comfortably down the uh, straight and into the braking zone, nice and controlled and not going for anything silly on Max. And we've taken that into sixth place because later, lap three, and you can see the understeer on these softs is horrific. We've gone wide there, but lost a bit of time. And Gasly is still behind me. DRS open now. The pit stop window is open, so we need to give it full beans on this lap and hopefully uh, make a bit of a gap to the medium runners. Uh, you can see behind me, I think it's a Mercedes actually, is it? On the mini map? I don't really know. I thought they qualified 1 2, to be honest, but uh, yeah, maybe it's not Mercedes then. Um, but it's, it's actually Bottas. He had a grid penalty, I forgot to mention. So I started one place higher than uh, I thought, but Gasly, meanwhile, has gone past me, but he's going to absolutely stop. I don't know what he's doing, but Gasly took me at the hairpin and then just stopped on the. Uh, yeah, on the track there for some reason. But nonetheless, I'm only peeling off into the pit lane. And yeah, a bit of confusion there about what was going on with Gasly and what was going on with Bottas, who had an engine penalty. Uh, so started 11th, actually. So I was 9th on the grid, which I didn't actually notice until now. But into the pit lane, onto the medium tyres. Um, my first stop of the race, and you can see all the cars on the, on the mediums are going past already, even behind the Williams now. It's only four laps into the race, of course, so you wouldn't expect that. But Gasly has gone uh, into his box, and we're still ahead of him, luckily. But we're behind Vettel, actually. He's also on medium tyres. And yeah, coming out of pits and in 19th place. Um, but meanwhile, Verstappen, who was ahead of me, onto hard tyres actually. So he may be trying a one stop, which I didn't really consider. But Verstappen is good, just about to still be ahead of me. But we've got a bit of an undercut, and the obviously warm tyres are going to take advantage of that and go down the inside of turn two and taking that move up into, I don't even know what their position is, but currently it's 18th. I think it's probably fifth once all the pit stops play out. But if he's trying to go to the end, that's a big problem for me because I've obviously got a pit stop to do still. And my teammate Science has also uh, come out of the pits ahead of me. He was uh, running second for most of the first stint behind Hamilton uh, only. Obviously, he moved up to the front row of the grid once Bottas had that penalty. But meanwhile, the two Ferraris and Carlos Sainz and myself now, with Verstappen right behind, are all stuck behind the Williams of my former teammate Nick De Vries. And DRS open, the, the Ferrari of Vettel's going to go down the inside of De Vries. So Carlos trying to take advantage as well, and Sainz is too. But into the breaking zone, I'm going to break very late, going down the inside of Sainz and uh, Charles Leclerc, the driver we've spent most of this season battling, it feels like so far. That we've got the exit. Uh, exit speed pretty well there. Leclerc's going to try and hold up the inside of the far corner and break it nice and late. And Leclerc's still there, got to leave a bit of space. He forced me off the track a little bit, but I've taken that running outside up into what is currently 14th. And we've got to uh, overtake the Williams at the race as soon as possible because he's going to be a bit of a buffer. And we don't want to let Vettel get too far away, although he's now stuck behind the other Williams of, uh, of um, George Russell. And yeah, very much uh, more grip in this car and a very simple move there on De Vries. Pretty nice move though to get it done nice and early. Not even waiting for the DRS there and now we can focus our attention back on the, the other Williams and George Russell with Sebastian Vell having already got him. And yeah, the grip of this Lotus is far superior to that of the Williams who one season ago we were pretty much matching on pace but now we're probably about two seconds like faster. So yeah, into the, uh, the high speed S section once again and Russell really going to be struggling through here as he hasn't stopped it either which obviously um, adds insult to injury really. And through this next call 
corner. We're close enough for a send once again into the uh, next second gear left-hander. And Russell keeping it a bit more uh, close than, my, than the Vries did. But uh, yeah, forcing him wide, asserting my dominance in the faster car and taking that 12th place, um, which, uh, which has become 11th as almost pitted. But Leclerc just behind me now and Vettel up the road a little bit has taken my uh, other former teammate, Louis Delatraz, in his uh, AlphaTauri. He's going to be a bit more difficult to pass, but um, yeah, Delatraz actually builds up into the pits. You can see the likes of Delatraz, Latifi and the Haas and so many drivers are in the pits now for their only stop of the race. Norris and Giovinazzi too. Science obviously peeled into pits for his second stop um, and Giovinazzi too. And unfortunately, all those drivers are going to be well ahead of me when I make my second stop, which is right now. No, it isn't. It's a uh, next lap. Sorry, Charles Leclerc pits right now. And yeah, I'm going to be pitting next out of the pit window. It's going to come open here on lap 16 onto a second set of mediums. Verstappen's about three seconds back, so he did start to gap him. But unfortunately for me, him and Bottas both went onto hards, and so did Hamilton. So those drivers have got a bit, probably a little bit better tyre wear than me, and they're going to absolutely mince me in the race because. Uh, they're going to the end and you see the likes of Perez here is six seconds back so we're going to be about 14 seconds off him with about just over 10 laps to go could be out too and there's Magnussen is alpha and Norris too going on the, we're going to be out the points here Albon on the hearts as well so he's going for that one stop from the softs as well and even Roman Grosjean that's just how bad this strategy really is and yeah as I said in qualifying starting on softs has really not paid off at all as we're behind Leclerc too who's uh, got a bit of undercut on me so we need to try and close up to him as soon as possible and Science my teammate um, is stuck behind Latifi in a minute but Science has cleared Latifi and now Leclerc is going to try and do the same thing with second profile sector so we've definitely got the pace but we're just stuck in 16th place in it with 10 laps to go but Leclerc going very slowly through turn one stuck behind Latifi he's a bit hemmed in we're going to try and look for that gap around the outside that's a very opportunistic move if it comes off which gives the high ground for the uh, the entry of turn three and we just about have seen the clear off and that's a lovely move he's on the hard for some reason despite mediums easily going to the end really but now we're going to try and focus on latifi and swinging to the inside line and nicholas latifi is getting disposed of in two corners so yeah very very good first sector to the the, the uh, lap 18 there and we've taken two places straight away and now we're back on the teammate on the back of my teammate carlos Sainz, who is overtaking roman grosjean right now and this battling has been pretty uh, interesting but really, the strategy has not paid off. See, Vettel is only in 11th place at the Science in 12th, uh, myself in what well, is currently 14th, and Leclerc behind me. So the two Ferraris and the two Lotus cars, we, we were definitely the second and third fastest team today. But just the strategy has not paid off at all at the minute. And Grosjean getting disposed on into turn one uh, quite comfortably. Yellow flags are out, but I didn't get any low take for some reason. Um, but I don't know who that's for. But it's Antonio Giovinazzi who is going to pull off to the left hand side of the track. And you can see there with a bit of smoke coming from the back of his car. And as we know, retirements cause safety cars every time in my career mode for some reason. But that might help us out a little bit because obviously the likes of Perez, Stroll, the McLarens, and Kvyat and Norris too are now just ahead of us. And we're really relying on Sebastian Vettel, uh, which is not something we want to be saying in 2020. Uh, but yeah, Vettel has got to mince through all these midfield runners and uh, overtake them all, hopefully. But unfortunately, lap 23, the safety car's come in, and that's obviously meant that the DRS won't be enabled um, for two laps now. So it's going to be very hard to overtake anyone, really, as we're all in the substream chain and there's no DRS at anything. And the safety car also allowing people to save their batteries. So there's going to be not much difference in overtake mode either because everyone's going to have pretty much full ERS in a minute. Um, and we're still in 12th place. So, yeah, Vettel has got to be making these moves nice and early so we can try and make the moves as well. But uh, closing on my teammate Science, we've got to try and overtake him to get on the back of the next AI cars all on hards. But Science has broken nice and late there. It's actually sending it on Vettel, which has sort of compromised all of us, if I'm honest, because now Vettel isn't close enough to stroll. Um, so it looks like we're going to be struggling to get into the points at all, really, as the midfield runners are all just staying with each other. And I can't pass Sainz. He's too quick in a straight. I can't pass Vettel either because he's too quick in a straight line. And Vettel, because he's an absolute fraud, can't pass anyone. So it looks like it's going to be pretty difficult. That 26 now, DRS has been enabled. Um, but I've got to look back to Leclerc, who's pretty close to me as well. And closing so much in the breakers of Sainz. Maybe even thinking about running outside of turn six here. But no, Sainz just about gets the uh, traction there. And unfortunately, I sort of compromised him, but now lap hit 28, and because Vettel is awful, he hasn't overtaken anyone. So, yeah, no points at all for it looks like, unless we can make something happen through the final corner. We're going to absolutely send one on my teammate Sainz, but this is only for 11th place. It's pride more than anything, really. Hamilton on that one stop absolutely minced everyone, and Vettel can't overtake Stroll in like six laps there in a much faster car and that means that we're going to come 11th place which is absolutely appalling result really when you think about it the car pace wasn't even that bad like you can see we're matching we're matching the ferraris my race pace was better than science as well i think it's just the uh the strategy was appalling you see the top nine all on one stop strategies and then ourselves the two lotus cars and the ferraris on two stops finishing 10th to 13th place which yeah not great at all 
see Hamilton winning and Bottas in third. That's going to give Mercedes a huge advantage. We've not even scored points with either car there. Absolute disaster, really. And if you look at the standings, uh, the, the gap was 22 points covering the top five. It's only 20, uh, it's only 34 points now, but Hamilton taking an assertive lead in the championship. And in the constructors, we're now 55 behind. I think we were something like 19 behind before that. Uh, something around that anyway uh, but they've gained what 31 points in a stat race so yeah really disastrous for the for the lotus team but unfortunately that's the way it goes sometimes and obviously getting into q3 was not the best thing if i started on medium stair i'd probably get a podium if i'm honest uh, but yeah that's, that's gonna be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you have a link like subscribe if you want to see more this has been jay away three and i'll see you next time